do you think a child IQ is malleable? Are there things that you can eat or things that you can do to help raise your child's IQ or cognitive development? Uh, yes, there are. Kelly. You use a wonderful term there called malleable. Now, the scientific term for that is called neuroplasticity. Mm -hmm. Now, that's just a big word that means if the brain could talk, it would say, hey, man, I will change and adapt to whatever you need me to. Mm -hmm. The brain is so changeable. All the wiring is so changeable. So the term malleable, you're totally correct. Now, the best way you can do that is smart foods. Mm -hmm. Let's start with mother's milk. Wow, smartest food ever made. Mm -hmm. And I make it very simple for moms. I say, all right, feed your child a smart fat diet. And as soon as I mention their term fat, they say, oh, oh really? Uh, I, I've heard all this bad stuff about fat. Wrong. A baby's brain is 60% fat. So the way I get parents to remember this is you are growing a little fat head. <laughs> Mother's milk is 40 to 50% fat. And Dr. Mother Nature does not make mistakes. So mm -hmm. the first most important group of foods to grow a smarter little baby brain and a child brain is fats. Number mm -hmm. one, mama's milk. Then at at six months, I have this, let's pretend, Kelly, that you're coming into my office and you're, you, you, you want to talk about beginning solid foods to grow a little fat head. And um, I say, okay, first food, avocados. Wow, what's different about avocados? They're the fattiest fruit on earth. Wow, so avocados at, at six months, and this will surprise your audience. At seven months, we begin salmon. I have a big sign in my office, salmon at seven months. <laughs> and parents look at me, really? Yeah, you get a piece of wild salmon and you mush it up and you place it on your finger and you place it on baby's tongue. Now, here are the three magic words, shaping young tastes, mm -hmm. shaping young tastes, beginning at six months so you shape their taste for fruits and veggies mm -hmm. and and good healthy fats like avocados and salmon mm -hmm. and here's another little thing we do at six months i call it my sprinkles test because mm -hmm. the commonest question i get from parents is my child won't eat vegetables right all right yeah. so we have a little we have a little veggie talk at uh, six months, we have a little veggie demonstration. Uh -huh. I open a capsule of concentrated ground up vegetables, mm -hmm. lots of greens, 10 different greens, all ground up in a capsule, it's mm -hmm. called Juice Plus. Mm -hmm. And I open the capsule and I have mom wet her finger and I pour the greens on her finger, the powder, and she places it on baby's tongue, little by little by little, and the baby shapes, it shapes the baby's taste toward vegetables. And, and I'll oh, explain what's going on because the brain is hard to talk about briefly, but this I'm going to explain what happens. Say you put a little bit of ground up broccoli or kale or salmon or avocado on the tip of a baby's tongue mm -hmm. and the tongue sends a text message to the brain and the brain says, like, Bunch of Facebook friends up in the brain says, I like broccoli, I like salmon, I like avocado. And then the head brain sends a text to the gut brain that says, hey gut, coming down is really good food. You pretend you like it. And then the gut brain does like it. And the gut brain texts the head brain says, keep eating more vegetables, it's good for you. That's what we call building in cravings at a very young age in a child. Oh, interesting. So you don't do it through just introducing food? I mean, do you try to give them all different kinds of food, the real food, yes, and then if that doesn't work, them. just giving them something would actually change their palate to help them like food more. Exactly. And you mentioned another, uh, you mentioned the magic word there, Kelly, real food. Mm -hmm. Just serve real foods. We don't feed babies out of a box anymore. Gone are the days of rice cereal out of a box. No, no. Think outside the box. And, and one of the reasons, and this is fairly new, mm -hmm. 
one of the reasons for starting real foods in children and, and babies, the real food diet, is called the microbiome. Now, the microbiome is just a big word for gut bugs, the normal bacteria that live in your gut, mm -hmm. uh, trillions of them. Now, in return for free food and a warm place to live, these bacteria do good things for your body. They make lots of natural medicines for your body. And so real food feeds the microbiome, your gut bugs, in a real good way. 